What's up? I'm KBHD here. So I just got done spending some time outside. This is a pretty exciting one and a little bit of an exclusive. Uh, I spent some time here at the studio with some of the new electric Hummers that are scheduled to come out as soon as the earliest one I think is next year, 2022. And they are wild. So GM brought them out here to the studio. So definitely get subscribed to the studio channel if you wanna see some of the behind the scenes type stuff. But these are the only working electric Hummers in the world right now, just these two models right here. So the one you've seen in car shows and other videos, that's this one. The one that was at LeBron James's house in that one video, yeah, that's this one right here. So you can see there's two versions that they brought here to the studio. One is the SUV version and one is the pickup truck version. And holy smokes, they are both ridiculous with tons, literal tons of quirks and features. But you know what, speaking of tons, let me just start with the obvious. These trucks are huge, okay? They're obviously very tall and they're massive, but the truck, it's gonna be crazy to see these things on the road soon because the truck version weighs over 9,000 pounds, 9,200 plus pounds, I've been told. And it still goes zero to 60 in three seconds, which is like fast sports car fast. That's like performance model three fast. That's actually terrifying. So this is a, it's gonna be a dual or triple motor config depending on which one you get, but with up to a thousand horsepower to move that weight. But yeah, I guess for a Hummer, it's, it's really not about that speed. It just happens to be capable of it from the electric torque, but it's more about how much torque you can get and how much you can tow. I don't know, I'm not a Hummer person, but I feel like that's gonna be fascinating, seeing all the wild stuff they've thrown into the truck to make the electric version more enticing. You may have seen my video on the Cybertruck already. That one's pretty wild. And then you may have also seen my recent hands-on with the Ford F-150 Lightning. And that's kind of like on the other side of the spectrum. This to me feels kind of somewhere in between. So just so you have the context watching this, these are gonna start with the dual motor lowest end version around $80,000, so pretty expensive. But the ones they brought out here are the, the highest end fully loaded like first edition or edition one versions. So now we're talking like 112,000 starting for that and up from there. So obviously much more expensive than the other two trucks. But for that money, yeah, you, you definitely get a lot of quirks. First of all, the total height and clearance of both of these vehicles is massive. So not only is it over 9,000 pounds, but the center of gravity is very high off the ground as you can tell. But you know, it looks good on these trucks. They look very rugged and obviously they have these huge wheels, but the SUV looks pretty solid too. Very squat and wide, but still extremely solid and tough looking. The whole thing is so squat actually that you may notice that you have three windshield wipers because a single windshield wiper would actually be too tall while a smaller pair doesn't reach the whole thing. So right off the bat, that's something you don't see on pretty much any other vehicle. Then up in front of that, you got a huge water sealed power liftgate front trunk for the Hummer EV. And this is this has gotta be the biggest front liftgate I've ever seen in person. It's absolutely massive. And while it's not a super tall front trunk, it's definitely deep enough to fit some serious luggage or storage, which again is awesome on something like a pickup truck that not every pickup truck has. I was loving that on the F-150 Lightning too. And speaking of electric vehicle stuff, check out these headlights. So this is what it'll look like when it's sitting in a garage or at a charger plugged in, the front running lights are actually multicolored so they can indicate exactly how much charge you have left and move those blue dots across the headlight area, which is pretty sick. And they also can turn orange for some pretty sweet regular blinker animations too. Honestly, I think the headlights are actually my favorite part of this truck. But wait, there's more. There's actually, there's just a lot of smaller truck stuff that you'd be interested in if you're a Hummer person. Now I'm not, claiming to be a Hummer expert. This is the first time I've spent significant time with a Hummer, but I learned a lot about trucks from the F-150 Lightning, and a lot of this stuff is still pretty cool. Like there's a tailgate that folds down in multiple stages, so it turns into a bench or a step to get up into the trunk, whatever you want. The back window also of both the SUV and the truck can go down too, so if you want that full fresh airflow from front to back, that's pretty sweet. And sitting inside, the interior is definitely, it's very industrial. Lots of rectangles and H-shaped objects as they do it. There is a screen here playing demo animations, but also still plenty of buttons and switches. This is by no means the minimalist type Cybertruck. 
And the best one is probably the mode dial that lets you switch between driving modes, can raise or lower the suspension on demand, and switch to crab walk mode if you want to, which lets you turn all the wheels in the same direction and maneuver diagonally, which is wild. Oh, and this would also be a good time to mention this whole thing is also a convertible. So the roof is removable. It's in four parts, so you actually have to go around to each corner and unhook two latches and take the roof panels off and put them in the trunk or the front trunk or wherever you want. But yeah, then suddenly this Hummer goes from a military looking vehicle to an open air recreational type thing with the wind going through your hair and this ultra wide windshield. Other random quirks though, there is tons of storage as you've already seen, but not just in the back and the front trunk, but even in the back seats or how about underneath the back seats or how about inside the back seats. I don't think this is something I've ever seen before. Then there's also cameras all around the vehicle, around the front, around the mirrors on the side, but most interesting to me is definitely the one in the center of the spare tire on the back. It's great for your visibility. And I noticed there's a good amount of uh, pride in this truck. Like they're, they're clearly proud of having made it in the USA. And that explains the American flag on the B pillar. And they're proud of that first moon landing, which you know, I guess they're kind of associated with since GM made parts of the Apollo 11 moon rover, but they're really proud. They're proud to the point where they have a topographical map of the moon all over the floor of this truck. It's in the front seats, it's in the trunk, and specifically in the speakers on the door, which show the sea of tranquility. And actually there's a boot print right on the spot where the first human feet were set on the moon. So they're really into it. The, the boot print is also on the left side of the floor of the car where your foot rests while you're driving. So you can kind of feel like an astronaut maybe driving a version of a moon lander. But the one thing they seem the most proud of is the Hummer name, like just Hummer EV. I wasn't originally looking for this, but as I walked around the vehicle and was playing with things and poking it and prodding it and pointing a camera at it, I started realizing how many times I was seeing the word Hummer EV or just the logo carved into, etched into the car everywhere. So I ended up just counting after a while and I think I got to 31 Hummer EV logos on this truck. So let's see, I mean, you just start with the HEV on the front of each door, that's two. Then down on the wheels, there's a logo in the middle and on the outside, that's another one. So that's two more logos per wheel, plus one more on the rear spare, since there's none in the middle. Then the entire headlights, of course, spell out Hummer EV, that's one more. You've got two on the steering wheel, one at the top, one at the bottom. Then one more on the passenger side dashboard. Then there's a logo under the floor mats of both of the front seats by your feet as you're sitting in it. And then another one between your feet in the back seat. And then another one in the trunk, both of the pickup truck and the SUV. Then there's two in the front trunk, one up in the top, and then another one at the bottom, one on each seat, so that's four more. Then one on the doorstep on each side, and then one more on the back, and then finally one more on each of the four tow hitches, two on the front and two on the back, all say Hummer EV. You'll never forget which car you're in. But overall, I, I am just really fascinated by an electric Hummer. It seems kind of like an oxymoron. Like I imagine the typical Hummer buyer doesn't care too much about efficiency. They probably won't care about the 350 mile max range that they're talking about or the up to 350 kilowatt fast charging, which is very impressive for when someday the infrastructure supports it. But uh, I imagine they care more about off-roading and power and towing and capabilities and things that other truck buyers are more interested in. And yeah, check and check. Cargo space, that's another check. It's interesting. It's interesting seeing an electric Hummer. So now that you've seen Hummer EV, I'm really curious what you think. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you've already also watched the videos of Ford F-150 Lightning and Cybertruck, maybe we'll get to spend some time with a Rivian soon, but I'm curious what your thoughts are on the electric truck scene that is slowly developing. And I'm still very confident that every year for the next 10 straight years is gonna be the most interesting year yet for electric vehicles. So we're just getting started. This was fun to take a first look. Either way, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon in the next one. Peace.